Hello, everybody. So these are the weather versus climate notes. And something that I was telling my students that were in class is that weather and climate is something that a lot of adults get confused about. Um, and I'm really hoping that by the end of this like little mini lesson, you really understand the difference between weather and climate. So we're pretty used to hearing about weather. Um, weather is what you get. So like today, for example, it's sunny, but yesterday it was pretty rainy. Um, or maybe it was 75 degrees today and it's 80 degrees tomorrow. But the, and it's, so it's very like exact, like weather today it is this, or yesterday it was this. But climate is kind of much more broad. It's what you expect it to be. So it would be something like in May, it's usually this temperature. Or in Florida, it's usually much warmer than it is in Vermont. So weather is like what you actually get and it's pretty specific. And climate is more of like a general what you're Good expecting. Afternoon. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so the first one we'll talk about is weather. Pretty familiar with this one. Weather is what's happening on your head. So that could be rain, snow, sun, wind, whatever is happening outside. Um, it's changing all the time. So that's why sometimes like, especially this morning, I have heat cranking because it was really cold, but then it's gonna change. And by the end of the day, when I leave school today, I'm gonna have to crank the AC on my way home. So weather is something that's just changing all the time. Um, one of my favorite, uh, let's see, where is it? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the picture. Um, is the Vermont weather forecast, which says hot and sunny, turning to sleep mid-morning, becoming a blizzard by noon, 6 to 42 inches, followed by warm, moist, tropical air, which will probably bring severe thunderstorms and a flood watch. So I don't know if you could see that. I can't actually see where the camera is pointing right now, but that's weather for you. It changes all the time, and also that's Vermont for you. Um, weather is what's going to tell you what to wear for the day. So should I wear shorts or pants or do I want to put on a sweatshirt or a winter coat or a hat? This is what the weather person predicts. Um, and then in the picture, you can see Nala, my dog, who is getting ready for the weather. She's very spoiled. She does not like to go outside in the rain. Um, she does now a little bit more, but when we first got her, she would not go out to pee if it was raining. So she's a little bit of a princess. So she is here getting ready for the weather. Some example phrases that we hear when we're talking about weather. Um, it's raining cats and dogs. It's 15 degrees below zero. It's so hot, I'm gonna melt. I can't believe it's 68 degrees in January. And today, expect partly cloudy skies. So what I want you to do is try to write some of your own weather phrases below. And if this one you should be okay with, it's pretty much what the weather person is saying. But of course, if you have questions, you can email me on that. Climate um, is the one where people start to get confused sometimes. So climate is something that you would expect to happen. So you use words, words like usually or normally or um, on average. So it's, it's a little bit more vague. It's like, well, it's usually warm during May or well, it's usually warm in Florida, um, but it's much more, it's much more broad. And how climate is determined is actually taking the weather for 30 years and averaging it together. So if you wanted to find the average temperature in Vermont in March, you would have to take the temperature every single day in March, average it together, and maybe you'd get 55, or it's March, let's say 35 degrees. Um, that would still be weather because we're talking about one year in March. And then, but if I take March this year and March last year and March before that for 30 Marches and I average all of those March temperatures together, I make it March's average temperature is 45 degrees in Vermont. That would be the climate. So um, climate doesn't tell you exactly what you should be wearing. You couldn't ask Alexa, hey, Alexa, what's the climate today? Um, but it should tell you what you should own. So if you know that, you know, it's usually 45 in March and it's usually 10 degrees in January and it's usually 80 degrees in July, 
you know what types of things you need to have in your wardrobe in order to prepare you for any type of weather in that climate. Um, so like, for example, in Vermont, we have to have snow boots and snow pants and winter coat and gloves, but we also have to have rain gear and we also have to have um, shorts and tank tops and flip flops and everything like that. So climate doesn't tell you like what to wear on a specific day. It's much more broad. Like these are the things you should have because it's, the, the weather is usually like this. So here Nala has her wardrobe to prepare her for Vermont's climate. So she's got um, a raincoat and uh, a towel. She's got some little um, winter boots there because her feet used to bleed in the winter. Um, and then she also has some of her summer stuff like a backpack and a Frisbee and, and her fall um, hunting jacket. So she has her wardrobe. She is ready for any weather um, in the climate of Vermont. So some example phrases that have to do more with climate than they do with weather. Um, I'm going to Antarctica, so I better pack my fuzzy hat. So we're not talking about like a specific temperature that it's going to be in Antarctica. I just know that it's usually cold, so I should bring my hat. It's usually warm in Florida, even in February. Spring break, I'm going south where it's warm. Some people that live in the south have never seen snow. I'd like you to write your own climate phrase below. And if you're having trouble, remember to use words like usually, normally, or on average. If you have trouble with this, or if you wanna check, um, just send me an email and I can be like, yep, that's a climate phrase, or maybe you should restructure it this way. Usually, normally, or on average are good way, places to start. They don't have to include those words, like a lot of these don't, um, but that can just give you somewhere to start with. So if you're talking about like the temperature at seven and eight and nine o'clock during the day, you're talking about the weather. If you're talking about today versus yesterday versus the day before that, you're still talking about weather. If you're talking about this March versus last March versus the March before that, you're still talking about the weather. So people get confused there a lot. In order to be talking about climate, you have to be talking about 30 years average together. That's when we get to what March is normally like. So in order to find out what normal March is, 30 years. So this graph just shows what it's normally like in Atlanta, Georgia over the year. Um, so each one of those points, like, and I've been talking about March a lot. So if we go with March, it's usually in Georgia about 55 degrees. That doesn't mean it's going to be 55 if you decide to visit. It just means you can expect it to be like that. And that one point, remember, is going to be um, this March and 30 Marches. So that one point is actually 900 numbers that have been averaged together. And the climate norms right now are from the 1980s to 2010. And as we move to the new decade, um, they change as well. So they are actually in the process of changing the climate norms to be from 1990 to 2020, now that we're in 21. This is just um, which one is usually warmer in the summer? Is it possible for the other city to have a warmer day? Some observations about these things, about these two graphs that you notice for California versus Alaska. A quick, what's the difference between weather and climate? And then write your own example sentences to show me the difference. And if you wanna just combine it into one sentence, that's fine. Um, and then the last page is just figure out whether these phrases are weather or climate and drag them into the correct place on the table. So that's it. Um, that's the weather versus climate quick, you know, quick presentation. Um, so please do the little activities that are in here. If you have questions, of course, email me. And then I, today I'm also going to have you work on a second notes PowerPoint talking about climate and climate change. So we're kind of talking about three major words here today, weather, climate, and then climate change. Um, and that's what I got for you today.